Matt here with Standing Stone Kennels, and we are here for a four-week pup date with the um, Breezy Walker litter. Uh, earlier this week, we checked Breezy like we have been um, uh, on a regular basis, and she had one teat that was very hard, uh, so we had the beginning <laughs> beginnings of mastitis. So we actually started her on antibiotics. That teat actually blew out, so we flushed it. We're keeping hot compresses on it, uh, making sure that her disposition and energy level doesn't change. Um, but the puppies are still able to continue nursing on her. That's not an issue. The medication that she's on is safe for nursing mamas. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her put away while we get these guys fed. Tight quarters here, so we gotta squeeze around the camera guy. Come on, Breeze. Yep. Come on, baby. So these guys are ready to eat. So I've got their puppy mush made up already. So that we can, hey guys, right here. Oh, yum, yum guys. Hey, 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 the food's right here. The food's right here. Goodness. Starving muffins, huh? There you guys go. So we have transitioned with their puppy mush to three times a day. The transition has also gone in consistency. It's not as soupy, it's a little bit thicker. There's some harder chunks in there now. Uh, these guys are doing a great job about eating really well. As you can see, they're nose diving this. Uh, in the next week, we will increase the amount of food that they're getting as we get to the point of starting that weaning process with Breezy. These guys, I'm just gonna grab my weight chart because I've already weighed these guys this morning and they are growing so much. Um, so Hale gained over a pound, Blast gained, <coughs> excuse me, also over a pound. Little Zephyr Man gained a half a pound, which is huge weight gain for him. You can see he's the little guy back there, but he is going to town. Cyclone gained a pound and Draft gained a pound. Gust gained 0.75 pounds. Flurry gained a pound. Twister gained a pound. Tornado gained a pound and Wendy gained a pound. So really good weight gain for these guys. <laughs> There's not gonna be much left of this puppy mush after this, I'll tell you what. So this is their breakfast. They'll also get lunch and dinner puppy mush as well as constant access still to Breezy. She hops in here, nurses them a lot and then hops out when she's done feeding them. <laughs> After these guys get done eating, I'm actually gonna load them up in a laundry basket and we're gonna go outside with them right away because they, with 10 puppies, um, have been starting to make quite a mess because what goes in them has to come out of them and Breezy is not able to keep up anymore. Um, and I really don't want her to have to keep up with them. So we're gonna start that potty training process of after they eat, they get an opportunity to go outside. So this is gonna be their first day outside trying to get some peeing and pooping done. Then we also still have to warm them today, so I will go ahead and get that prepped to do as well. Um, but I want to be timely of when they finish eating, what a pile of puppy hungries, uh, that we can get them outside in a really good amount of time. Uh, so they, what I like to see is them cleaning the food up really well, not having a lot of leftovers, and then that lets me know that we're about ready to increase the amount. We can't increase the amount of food too quickly though because I don't wanna upset their little tummies. Things are a little more crowded in here in our whelping area now because Allie Mama just had her litters of puppies and they're over here in our other whelping box. Um, Allie's resting and puppies are eating, which is great, that's what I wanna see. Um, but I'm going to be ready to grab these guys out of here. 
You guys about done? I say just about. I'll just point everybody out real quick because it's easy to get confused with who puppies are. So right here we've got Hale, and here's Cyclone, here's Flurry, here's Draft, Twister, Windy, Blast, Tornado right there, Gust, <laughs> and Zephyr, who's working his way under the pile looking for the extras. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm going to get these guys out because it looks like Twister, let me get you girl, is looking for a place to go potty. So let me go ahead and get these guys headed in the out direction. And I will see you outside because I know you got to get some camera settings changed. I got a basket, got a basket full of puppies. Ten puppies in a basket averaging around three and a half pounds each. You do the math. It's a heavy basket of puppies. So this is their first time outside ever. They're still covered with a little bit of their breakfast, um, but they're getting out in the grass. Hey, Zephyr babes. And then hopefully we'll get some peeing and pooping done right away, which is what I want to see to start this potty training process. They're like, this is different. Yeah. Ugh. So they're all just kind of holing up right there in the grass, haven't ventured very far yet. Good job, puppies. Oh, here we go, spreading out a little bit, exploring their new environment. Good job, puppies. <sighs> Four weeks old this is a big day for them. So there's Twister going poop. She was who I saw looking right away uh, when we were inside. Not a lot of puppy poop, but just a little bit. Um, so I was like, we need to get these guys out. And she said, yes, we did, because I had to go to the bathroom. It's got a pee out of Wendy, a pee out of, who is that, Blast? Nope, Draft, sorry. Uh, peas, peas. Cyclone says he's good about uh, exploring on his own over here. He says, I can go over here and see what's up. Everybody else is kind of spreading out. Good job, puppies. More pooping. More pooping. Exactly what we want to see. This happening outside instead of inside. It'll help keep that whelping box a lot cleaner for them. They have not ventured out very far yet. Okay, guys, now I need to look for your little puppy poops. Nice job, Zephyr. You guys are getting pretty bold and confident, little guys, checking out everything. Yeah, woof, huh? Oh, you guys tough? You woofing around? Good job, puppies. Puppy puppies. I 
think I've lost count of how many poops I've seen, but I've seen quite a few, which means everybody's figuring out how to do their business outside. Zephyr, I think you pooped twice, buddy. Spreading out a little bit more. Yeah. Good job, guys. Hey, come here. Who wants to get some lovies? Come on. Oh, hi, Cyclone. Hi. Hello, Hail. Come on, Gus. Hey, Tornado. Good job. You snuck around back, Twister. Hi. Oh, hello there, Draft. Come on. Blast and Windy. Flurry. Hey, Zephyr. Zephyr. He's like, I'm Mr. Independent. I'm little but mighty. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come on, come on. Yeah, come here, little guy. It's like, meh. Hi, oh, hello. Yes, Fluffy. There you go, buddy. Hi, guys. Yes. Well, I'm going to let these guys play around just a little bit longer outside. I'm going to run in and get their whelping box cleaned quickly uh, so that we can bring them back into a nice clean box and get them wormed. So, Whew, now that is a basket full of puppies. And this process of teaching them how to go outside to go to the bathroom is a huge part of their development, as well as uh, it's gonna help keep our box so much cleaner and everyone's lives that much easier. So uh, based on their weights, I know how much medicine everybody's gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And as they get medicated, oh, As they get medicated, they're gonna go back into the box. That way I know who I have done and who I haven't. Come on, Gust. This stuff tastes pretty good, but they haven't had it yet. So they need to go, oh, oh yeah, that's delicious. I could have some of that. There you go. Good job, buddy. Nice clean whelping box. Freshly pottied puppies. Oh, come on out. I think that Flurry has been an escape artist before. If you watch some of our Instagram stories, the well, the laundry basket can't hardly contain them anymore. Okay, Tornado, you're trying to escape next. Come on here, sit in my lap while I get you your medicine. Watch, I pour it on myself and him. Okay, buddy. Yeah? You next? Yeah, isn't that yummy? Mm-hmm. Okay, come here, Twister. You're up, girl. See how tasty that can be? Aw, oh, you dribbled it on my pants. There you go. Yum. You've got some teethers in there, guys. It's making it easier for you to do your puppy mush with a little bit bigger pieces in it, huh? Okay, come here, Cyclone. Check it out. See how good it is? Yeah. Good job, guys. Oh, here, you're sleeping. Come here, Draft. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they're being spunky in the box. You should check this out. Playing, playing, they say. Ooh, we feel good. Wendy, get a little bit of medicine. Yum, yum, yum. 
Hop on in. There you go, blast. Zephyr, even Zephyr made it out of the basket almost by himself, little guy. Goodness gracious, you little climber. Yeah, that's so good. He goes, I could eat all the time. You've got a belly on you, buddy. You ate real good. Come on, Hale. Oh, flipped you over, buddy. Sorry. That was a rude awakening. There you go. Good job. Delicious. So these guys got to eat breakfast. They got to go outside for the first time to learn how to go potty out there. And since we've been back in the box, we haven't even had a single potty yet, which is great. That's a really great start to potty training. They, <laughs> hi guys, they've been wormed. They got a little more spunking around that they're doing in their box. And as you can see, they're settling down and it's probably about time for morning nap time. Thanks for watching along with the Breezy Walker Pup Dates and I'm Cat the Dog Trainer and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.